everybody. This is Sangeeta Sitsena with Chief Bureau Chitali Bar and we are here at Paris at the Swedish Air Force reception and we have with us here the Chief of the uh, Swedish Air Force who is the man actually is in picture because at the moment when we are planning and we are thinking of a lot of things, we are also thinking of an expanded plan and expanded role for the Swedish Air Force. And we have with us Mayor General Jonas Wickman, the Chief of the Air Force of Sweden. Welcome sir to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. Uh, thank you, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. And so, you know, it's, we've been talking and we've been hearing and we've been hearing us. Sweden is a country which seems to be very self-sufficient when it comes to its own economy. So what are the plans now that you are or you might envisage a bigger role for yourself in the global context? What are the plans for improvement in the existing state of Sweden? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we are on a good uh, path right now. We are having a very uh, good, uh, good assets as it is with the fighters. Uh, they have won uh, early morning and, and different kind of assets. I think, uh, but the, the, the world is changing and the threat is changing and uh, you know, Sweden has decided to, to apply for a NATO membership and uh, we are looking very much forward to that. That gives us the, the possibility to combine our capabilities capabilities uh, with uh, NATO, uh, with ally, ally capabilities and, and in order to meet the threat. Uh, I think uh, we will contribute to NATO, NATO will contribute to our security, so it's, it's a win-win situation on that. And does that mean that you need an expansion in the numbers when you become a part of it and when you become the part of NATO? I think not, not necessarily because we become a part of the, the, uh, the Swedish political level has decided on an overall expansion on the Swedish Armed Forces and the Air Force. So we're getting uh, getting uh, higher funding uh, up to 2% and, and that also is the, the correct level that, and the level we need to, to, to your NATO as well. So I think uh, but, uh, the, the uh, political decisions is based on the, the development of the security situation. Right, and when we talk about this sort of a membership, we also talk of a large plan where exercises will be for a wider you know, area. Which means that we also, we also at the moment we talk of NATO, but then we have a huge Indo Pacific, we've got a continent which is again friendly most of Asia. So we would like to understand that where the Swedish Air Force come to play with creating a you know, goodwill amongst the various air forces in the world. Yeah, I think yeah, we are very much, uh, even way before we applied for a NATO member, membership, our, our strategy was uh, cooperation, cooperation, collaboration with, with other nations worldwide to improve each other's capabilities. So I think uh, that's been our mindset throughout the, the, whole, the whole journey. Uh, before uh, before uh, applying for NATO membership, our security strategy was built on cooperation. Uh, so that will uh, continue. And uh, like minded partner or allies, uh, our, our effort to, to continue and develop the, the, the relationship is, is very much there. And does the Swedish Air Force believe in the concept of joint talks? So when it be, by joint ops, I mean, you know, operations combined as the three other forces in Sweden. And uh, are there joint compatibilities which you have with the Swedish Navy aircraft or with the Swedish Army aircraft, the aviation wings of the other forces? Yeah, I think uh, very much. And I think uh, the modern, modern, uh, modern environment means that there is no... There is no real limit between the different services or the different domains. So I think uh, joint and multi-domain is, is where we have to where we have to look in the future. I think the responsibilities uh, and multinational. I think uh, the responsibilities for all of us commanders and everybody involved in developing the capability is to look at the other domains, at the other services, at the other nations, and see how can I help and how can I get help. You know, in trying to get the solve the situation. I think that's that's the recipe for this. Right, and as the chief of the Swedish Air Force, how important is training 
and research and development to develop the force and develop your equipment. Yeah, I think and what do you do? Are, is there an organization which looks after all this? Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's, it's mainly my responsibility. For, my, for me, it's, uh, it's very clear that I have a task to defend uh, to, 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 be, to, 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 to defend us today, tomorrow and every year we have. So it's also my responsibility to look very, very far ahead and, 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 and make sure that we you know, long term have the capabilities uh, we need. That challenge can be used uh, we use the research agencies, we, we use the, the, the defense material administration and we use the universities to try to figure that out. But that is, uh, that is uh, kind of a very important for all of us to have the focus on right here, right now. It's very easy to get a focus on the current situation, but also to develop future capabilities. That's wonderful, actually. You know, we want, there could be lots we'd like to talk about, yeah. but then, you know, we are also looking forward to Sweden becoming a part of the NATO, and we have more to ask you than after that. Oh, yeah, so that You're is very wonderful. welcome. I'm Thank looking you forward so to meet you again. Thank you so much. Thank Next you. time when we meet, I'm sure you'll have more to talk yeah, to us about. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.